encourage you to watch this DVD from the beginning until the end. It's really going to touch your life. It's really going to leave you a different person. And I just want you to keep on now watching our DVDs, our material. I believe it is meant for this generation. We normally don't preach what we get from somewhere else. We preach what we get from God. And we believe it's relevant for this generation. And it's relevant for this time. And I want you to keep watching that. Now enjoy and uh, just, uh, just watch the DVD until the end. God bless you. going to read the book of Psalms 127 verse 1. Amen. 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 Are you there Psalms 127 verse 1? Amen. We're going to read about three or four scriptures today and then I'll be out of your way. I'll read it, it read as follows. Verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. I'll read it again. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Now this is the scripture we are reading. It says, unless God builds the house, those that are building the house, they are building it in vain. Hallelujah. So we must understand sometimes we don't only need material to build the house. We don't only need the builder to build the house. We don't only need the money to build the house. But we also need the Lord to build the house. Because we may have everything else. But unless we have God, that house will never be finished. When you're walking around the street now, you see so many houses that are built halfway. Not that the, 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 the owner ran out of cash. Not that the owner ran out of the builders. There are so many builders, but you waste so much money when God is not there. Hallelujah. Unless God builds the house, the builders of the house, they build it in vain. Praise God. I don't know what you're building in your life, but whatever that you're building, if God is not building it, I want to tell you that you have just wasted, wasted your time and you are bound to waste more time if God is not there. Hallelujah. Whatever that you're building in your family, let God build it. And as God is building it, you will find it easy. Hallelujah. This scripture was written in Jerusalem. Now Jerusalem, there was shortage of houses. So houses were in demand. And now the, the, the word was written. We want to Ningabana, you mali, Ningabana, but you walk. Go to Jehovah and the Yaki, let them Yakayo. Get any day. Praise God. Not a house can mean a house is a protection, a house is a security, a house is a place to hide, a house is a place of security. So unless God does not build your place of security, you are going to be vulnerable. Unless God builds with you your hiding place, you will be vulnerable. Unless God builds a marriage, you will never come right. Unless God builds your career, you will never come right. Hallelujah. Unless God builds your house, those that building it, you will be in vain. I've seen what they don't have skill. Or what we say over a gecko and do another yakayo. Hallelujah. Unless God builds the house, those that build it, they build it in vain. What are you building today? Have you invited God in what you're building today? Are you building, building a relationship? It's God in that relationship. Because if God is not there, you are wasting another time. You are wasting another emotions. It is not going to come right. Because the source of finishing what you've started is God. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And the work that is started in you, He will make sure that He puts it to completion. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Precious Jesus. Amen. Precious Jesus. Amen. It's very difficult these days 
Hallelujah. And we also see in verse 7 that man, God has created a man, but the man is dead. Man is not walking. Man is not doing anything. So he needs to bring something from heaven and put it in the inside of man. So that when if he does a puzzle, sing a paratentwin, umutama sumumahab, goma umutumanga nasum, if he does a puzzle, umahita te efile. Hallelujah. You don't move because you can. You move, goma, goma, if he does a puzzle, as in a paratiguako, uya for goma, if he does a puzzle, the pumila go. Hallelujah. Can I preach this morning? Simona Matuba Fanam Shanta, in the Mamu Pumila, in the Toma Pensur, Kapat, who are Patron Shizosabo, Kapat, the Mamis in Bayabo. Hallelujah. The only difference between you and Nathan Tumba Samoshwan, who go to Asana Umoya, Kapadati. Hallelujah, Chesh. In other words, my purpose for man cannot be accomplished. I still need to bring something from heaven. Hallelujah. So that man can move. So that man can live. So that man can accomplish his purpose on earth. Hallelujah. So if the thing I have been learning is the dollar pencil or what is called whether it will go to after the leon. Somebody say good preaching right there. Hallelujah. What you call my Kuruman Abaza and the Colossal? What is the call of Napo, Swan of Christ? For Nani is the dollar pencil. Hallelujah. Come on, you have a what is the job of a scooper and a pumpkin? You have a by a fast against a goal, better than all night prayers. God, nothing seems to work out. Now Paul comes in. What is the problem? It's not that you are in the wrong church. The problem is not that you have a wrong pastor. The problem is not that you are in the wrong place. But the problem is, God, nothing does a puzzle. And last thing you lay your empire on the end. God, if it does a puzzle, man, you can't empire on the end. You start to move. You start to be productive. The Bible in Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we have our being. Praise God, Jesus. Imagine Africa is not a bad place to be in. Imagine is not a bad place to be in. Estelo is not a cursed place to be in. But in that one day, at last, there is the door of Pesuf. Mind that all we need to do is to find, is to reconnect, make the door of Pesuf. Hallelujah. I like this one off the ground. God created, and with his own time, it is still not productive. Amen. Amen. But sometimes it is possible. Hallelujah. They are not bringing any fruit. They are not doing anything. Hallelujah. Can I hear someone say amen in this place? It is possible that sometimes God gives you a womb, but that womb cannot produce. It is possible that sometimes God gives you a job, but that job doesn't give you money. It is possible that God gives you a business, but that business does not have results. It is possible that God can give you a church, but that church doesn't go anywhere. Hallelujah. Because God created the ground, and there was nothing, even though God created it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm taking you somewhere today. Yeah. This says, until I do two things, I will bring a man to work up this ground, and I will bring a rain. And when rain comes, there will be fruit from this ground. The very same ground that is known to be barren. The very same ground that is known not to produce. As soon as it is done a person, the figure will grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes the marriage you are in is not necessarily a wrong marriage. But the thing is, Aziko is in the person. The thing is, Aiko is in the person. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I've got two branches here. Pretty much the same age. Pretty much taken from the same place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this branch. This branch has had leaves. This branch has been productive. This branch was able to produce like it was created for. God to angenga yoguti ku hambe ku hamba ku pella i water supply ku pella amand in the branch. The branch started to lose some leaves. The branch started to lose some things that it had produced. It started to lose the things that it had. Hallelujah. In the Bahia, Aguna Timonila, Aguna Satanila, Gopele in him, Gopele a man, Gopele is the daughter of Pesul, Gopele is the daughter of Pesul, Gopele is the daughter of Pesul, Gopele is the daughter of Pesul. And they are coming to people for, for oil. And they are going to other people for anointed water and something like that. In King Aksizo Lezito, in King Agutukunde Zito, Espelile, Embilo Niyako. Raba Shakanda Raba Sahe. Hallelujah. This, this branch lost its own leaves. That it worked hard for. Now maybe there is somebody here. You have lost your own business that you worked hard for. And I want to tell you, it is not because you hired a wrong clerk or you hired a wrong person. It is because goodness is to expel your billion yako. Hallelujah. You know when I'm sure you could work in swim, you're going to funani in zito zapezul. Come on, what you pay is it to zapezul. You have even lost your kids. You have even lost your marriage. You have even lost the job. These things were yours, but they start to leave you when you have lost the heavenly things. So the problem is, let us find the water again. Let it rain again. Let it rain again. So some of the things that we have lost in life, it is not because of the devil. When this tree lost the leaves, who sat on the ground down, who sat on the ground down and lost, who sat on the bed by the side of the stars in the shadow. God was so quick to blame him and say it is the devil. Now the devil has done nothing there, but the thing is, this tree has lost contact with the water supply. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can someone say Amen in the church? The battle is sugar and nazo. We sometimes lose even the people that God has given us. When we lose the water supply. Now God is said to be fruitful and multiply. Now God has imparted to you an ability to be fruitful and ability to multiply. But you lost things when you lost the supply of the, of the heavenly things in your life. Hallelujah. Saints, it is possible you can get married a white wedding with the pastor there, with the bishops there, saying all the right things and, and praying the right prayers and you have got the right person that you were given by God. Go to a gushonoko, uguti pela lapo, gona zinja mele sale ziza. There is a rain that must keep on coming. There is a word that must keep on coming. There is a spirit that must keep on being there. If those things are not there anymore, you're gonna lose the very same things that God gave you. Maskete lapo simu ya siti na usababu ya bati usata na ma demon in in. I'm giving demons too much credit. Yes. Giving demons too much credit. 
kwazi no kwazi ukuthi lento ithole uyithola kanjani uyiluza kanjani but spirit says ti au satan jema kero na kama satan ila there's something i like very much on the scripture um, when the Bible starts, it starts about the garden uh, that we read about, the garden of Eden. And when the Bible ends, it ends about the glorious garden. If you read Revelation chapter 21, you're reading about a glorious garden. Now the first garden had seen in it. So in the last garden is the glorious garden. The scripture says, with no sin. Hallelujah. So the first garden is beautiful, but there was sin that came to it. The sin that started from it, but the last garden in the book of Revelation is a glorious garden with no sin in it. Hallelujah. Why? There's a difference between the first garden and the last garden. It is because there is another garden in the midst of the Bible that is told about a garden of Gethsemane. Hallelujah. So we have a garden of Gethsemane. Kone kati ya se kete mani, kone kati la usu ugu jesu wa lila kona. Eli si baibi le wazo wa sweta mani, wa sweta nekazi. Hallelujah. Because he was saying to restore what was lost in Eden. So that the last garden in the Bible has got fruit. So that the last garden in the Bible is productive. Hallelujah. So wazo uti kupuma mani, wazo uti kupumi kazi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes all we need is just a ray from God. Yeah. I just want to conclude this message by saying all we need is a ray from God. Hallelujah. When the ground was useless, producing nothing. Now, if, in other words, you are saying, Somebody says it's raining. Now prophesy. 
inside your own self, close your eyes and say it's raining. Oh, say, precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. I want to just say it's raining. The leaves are growing again. The stem is growing again. The roots are germinating again. It's growing again. What you lost is coming back. This is time of restoration. You're not going to die like that. Rain is come. Rain is come. Rain is come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe your money is not coming back yet, but rain is coming. Maybe what you lost is not coming back yet, but rain is coming. wonderful time watching this DVD and I want to encourage you get more copies and keep watching and pass this one on make sure that the blessing goes through to everybody you know and thank you for buying and thank you for supporting we love you God bless you Amen